Good morning, happy Sunday, day 14, and Leslie's postpartum weight loss journey. I'm Leslie Urbis, registered dietitian and personal trainer, and I'm here today to discuss with you how important, again, rest days are and how important water is. This week, I'm gonna be discussing everything about your metabolism and sleep and all the things that really matter when we discuss weight loss because the truth is, if you don't have some of these things, you're not gonna lose weight the way you want to. So, stay tuned this week. Yesterday, I had a fabulous day. I had a few glasses of wine, and I ate a few pieces of chocolate, but I didn't have the cupcake. I said no to that, didn't really want it. But if I would've eaten the cupcake, I still would've remained with an 80-20. So, I'm doing very well on my diet. I worked out. This morning, I got up, I stretched, and gave myself some relaxation. I did some meditation, I spent some time by myself, which is important, one, for recovering your body, and two, for your mental stability. So I did both of those things today. It's important that you do that. It's important that you rest. It's important that you stretch. Even if you wanna be the fittest person on the planet and the most muscular person out there, you still have to stretch, you still have to rest because your body needs it in order to perform at its best. So remember that. Now, today, get that personal time in. Get that self-care. If you don't know what kind of self-care things to do, go back and watch day seven because that will have all of your self-care tips. But today, like I said, that's what I did and I wanna discuss how important water is. So everyone probably knows now that it's not just 64 ounces a day, it is drink half of your body weight in ounces. So I do really want you to drink half of your body weight in ounces. But if you exercise or if you're outside a lot, I will tell you that you do have to increase some of that water based on sweat. So basically, every 15 minutes of activity, you need to drink back an extra two ounces. If you go over an hour of activity, that's when you need to include your sports beverages. So below this, I'm gonna link you also to my website to get the free B handouts that also talk a little bit about hydration and how to hydrate for yourself. Super important to stay hydrated. I will also link my hydration video too because that's also important, but that's your quick tip. Drink half of your body weight in ounces. For every 15 minutes of activity, drink back two ounces of water. And then you don't need a sports drink until you go over 60 minutes, okay? Unless you're in extreme conditions, like it's super hot outside and you live in Florida like myself and it's super humid and you're outside running, you might try to do that a little earlier depending on how excessively you sweat. So base it by your body as well. Every once in a while, if you get a taste of sweat in your mouth and it tastes salty, guess what? You might want to replace with some electrolytes. That's another good kicker. Yes, you can tell by your urine how hydrated you are. The clearer it is, the better it is. But it doesn't mean that just because it's a little yellow that you're not hydrated. So just clue into that and try to pay attention to drinking water. Set an alarm on your phone to remind yourself every hour to be drinking so much water. There's lots of apps out there that help you track. And try to stay hydrated because hydration is also a very big key to running your metabolism efficiently as well as weight loss. How I want to explain that, I will this week when we talk about metabolism. So stay tuned on why water is super important for that. Remember today is rest day, get some self-care, drink your water, and today looks like a great eating day for me. So I hope you have a fabulous and fit Sunday. Spend some time with your family and I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. Oh, I guess I should tell you that I posted my progress yesterday too. So look at my progress. It's only been 13 to 14 days. There shouldn't be much progress, but there is a little, and I'd like for you to go see it. If not, here's the picture. Outside of that, like, subscribe, and follow my YouTube. Pass it on, share with anybody, because this is life-changing, and it's time to stop living by a diet and start living with what you want. Happy Sunday.